All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. You know what it is, man. Look, so, all right, man. I have to, I have to play this video because it's been bothering me and it's been on my mind. And I have a lot of ladies on this, this page. And I need to understand something. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe, maybe I'm not being fully explained how the feelings are with some of these people. But I want y'all to watch these videos of people talking about this election. And I know that's going to scare some of y'all, but I have to talk about it. And I want y'all to see the reaction to some of these people. And I want y'all to tell me in the comments what's really going on. Because I think it's a deeper issue than actually Trump being elected. Like, what is really going on? Because there's some things that I'm going to explain. And I think that there are some people, I think that they're suffering from mental illness. And y'all probably think I'm, I am sound crazy, but I'm going to explain to y'all why I believe this, this is the case. And I'm not saying that to be smart, ladies. I want y'all to try to, how would I say this? I want y'all to try to be, uh, use, use some critical thinking skills here for this episode. And I'm not saying that to, to belittle you because I know a lot of y'all on here are very smart. I'm just saying, just have an open mind about what's going on here. You know what I'm saying? Because I think it's very important that we watch this and we, and, and I talk to y'all about this because this is, this is very, very scary and it's very disturbing. So, and, and not disturbing in a way where it's uh, disturbing, it's like it's disturbing to the point where, I, I don't know, but it's not disturbing in, the, in I don't want to say a bad way, but it's just, it's disturbing to see because I think that this is not, this, this is something going on deeper than this. Before I get into that, you know, I got to give my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, leave a donation. Links on the screen. Cash app. PayPal's in the description. They call me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And I'm keeping growing, man. I'm keeping it going. Look, man. So let me know where you're from, too. We're going to get into this clip. This is um, this is very, very scary. And I had to bring this to y'all. I, I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people say to me, you know, this is a sensitive topic. But sometimes we have to talk about these sensitive topics. And maybe I'm missing something. So let's get into the clip, man. We, we could talk on the way through. Okay, so let's get to it, man. Let's go. Six years it took us six years to get our citizenship i know people <laughs> i know some people need more time i know some people don't even not ever get their citizenship but we worked so hard for it she worked so hard for it i was just a kid <laughs> she we came here because she wanted a better life for us she wanted a better education for us she wanted for us to have a better future and now now this is all gonna be taken away because of him because Okay, so what's going on here? What's going on here? Why is she so why is she uh so so upset about this? And I'm I'm this is a rhetorical question. I'm asking why she's so upset, but it, it, obviously you guys can't answer that. But I'm just saying she's saying that they work so hard, they've been here for six years and they work so hard to get it. Now, I think a lot of people are misunderstanding what the whole illegal immigration is because I think a lot of immigrants believe that they're going to de be deported. If you were here and you have your papers, they're not going to deport you. How can they deport you if you have your papers? Now, don't jump in the comments saying, yeah, they can still do that. No. I, I, I dated immigrants. Trust me. I dated them. I was with one for almost six years and she got a green, got a green card and she got a citizenship. Trust me, I know. So I'm just saying, this this don't seem a little disturbing to y'all. Now I know that this one right here, maybe she was mis misinformed. So I could understand why she's upset because she's literally an immigrant. She's not from here. So I could understand. So let's give her a pass because 
she's upset so we could understand why she's upset. So let's give her a pass. Oh, that's stupid. Stupid. Oh, my God. Stupid. <laughs> felon. He's a felon. He's a felon. He's a felon. I don't want him here anymore. I can't. I can't. I'm not coming back. I'm never coming back here until he leaves the house. He is ruining my life, her life, and the lives of every single immigrant in this country. All right, so I can tell that she watches a lot of MSNBC or news networks that promotes this he's a felon thing. Because now that's the talking point for some people that he's a felon, he's a felon, he's a felon. And it's kind of like, it's sad to see this play out in real time. Because most people don't care to bring up people's charges. And when people do bring up people's charges, everybody always saying that that's not right. But I see how easily it is for people to throw that charge around now. And it just demonizes everybody that's felons. But I don't think she understands that because she's not from, obviously she's not from here. And she's getting her talking points from MSNBC. But I'm going to get into the greater picture of what I think is really going on here. But let's get to it. Yeah, so I can understand um, certain things. But at the end of that, I just think she was kind of misled. And I don't know. Let's, let's let's see what this one has to say. Remember that Hitler was elected. Putin was elected. So many dictators were democratically elected and they never left. Hitler was elected in 1932 and he did not start out by saying, let's eliminate the Jews. He said, there's a Jewish problem. We need to find a solution. He blamed them for the problems of German citizens. He blamed them for taking money, taking jobs, dehumanized them. He very slowly and deliberately stripped away the rights of not only the Jewish people, but of German citizens in general. He villainized the media, he took down his enemies, and he assumed total power before the Holocaust finally began. She talking so much bull, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. Man, I'm about to really go off because this is about to make me mad. This is the pure definition of fear mongering right here. What she doing right now is no different from what the mainstream media does. And they kind of like got people working for them now. This is exactly what she's doing. When she say that, Hitler started out and he took the he took the people rights and he's saying that they were taking people's jobs and he's saying that this and that and then he he ends up having and end up going and doing the Holocaust. It's so crazy how y'all can think that that can actually happen today. It's so crazy that you believe that the people let me I want y'all to understand if <clears throat> If Donald Trump was de de decided that he was going to do something to the American people, you think that the American military is going to turn on the American people? You think that they're going to follow his orders and take over the United States? The military, with their own family, is in the states. You think that they're going to abide by that and take over? You're silly as hell if you think that that's going to happen. You're you're out of your mind if you think this is going to happen. That's not even getting into the point that there's so many different branches of government that he would have to go around and go through and do all these things. You think that these people are going to enslave everybody? Or put people in concentration camps? How would that even work? I don't understand how that would even work, right? So people are going to do what? What are they going to do with the people? 
They're going to put them in concentration camps, and then what? What are they going to do? They're going to exterminate. He's going to exterminate people. You're literally saying this on TikTok, and TikTok is allowing this. That you're saying that Donald Trump is going to exterminate people. You sound how cr you see how crazy you sound, and then here's the greatest part of it all. You're saying he's going to do this, but you're a part of it. So if he does do it, it's going to affect you too, right? So how are you saying it like, well, you guys, you, it's gonna, he's going to get y'all. Like, I, I don't understand it. How, how would he know if you voted for him or not? How would he know if you ain't a part, would you go and stand on the other side? Who are you going to get to fight for you? This is unbelievable. And some of y'all really think like this. I need to understand this. What is this coming from? Is this, is this like a mass mental illness? That a, a mental illness crisis that we're going through in the United States where people actually think that this man is Hitler. I don't care if you try to doctor it up. You're literally saying he's Hitler. Oh my God. In 1938. For some reason, we think our democracy is different, but democracies are all so very fragile. Democracies only survive if the executive, the president, respects their role and doesn't overreach. Congress can write laws all they want, the courts can write decisions, but the government only continues to function as a democracy if the executive branch upholds those decisions and those laws and enforces them. And I'm so Oh my God, you, your whole argument defeats itself. You think that the president of the United States is going to turn on the citizens of America to do what? What is he going to do? The thing about the United States is called the United States for a reason. We have two, we have three branches of government for a reason. We have a bunch of different branches, but we also have states for a reason. All every state functions as its own its own country. Every state does something different. The federal government is the federal government. But if Donald Trump was going to be a dictator or or a uh, whoever you want to call him, if he was going to do all that, he would have did that in the first four years. When they shut the country down during COVID, he didn't do it then. He could have easily said, nah, the country's opening back up. He had to ask for permission to send, uh, to, he, he sent a letter to, uh, to uh, uh, the DC mayor and told her that he wants um, th th them to t get 10,000 um, uh, National Guard uh, troops. And they said no. During, uh, during the, you know, I don't want to say it, but uh, six, you know what I mean? That's what I'm going to say. Either way, like, you sound crazy. This woman sounds crazy. She sounds crazy. And this is the type of stuff that they promote to y'all. And this is what they do. They keep y'all in this in endless loop. And ladies, I need to understand, why do y'all listen to people like this? Y'all really think that this is actually going to happen to you? Like, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm just like, I don't even know what to think. I don't know what to think. Sorry, but Trump is not going to do that. He has said out loud that he will take down his enemies, that he does not respect the Constitution, and that he will be a dictator on day one. First of all, you already know that he was... <sighs> I even hate to even repeat this, because it sounds kind of weird. He definitely said he definitely said it as a joke. They said, oh, you said you're going to be a dictator only on day one. Now nah, I'm just playing. He literally said that. Then on top of that, it's like, y'all always say, don't take Donald Trump seriously. And then you turn around and say, take Donald Trump seriously. It, it, it just, it just, it just mind blowing me. It, it blows my mind how y'all are. And then you says, oh, he, he says he's going to go after his uh, political enemies. Well, wait, let me get this right. So they went after him. So why are y'all crying about him going after them? So you're telling me that everybody in Washington is straight. Nobody's crooked. That's another thing that nobody wants to talk about. Nobody ever wants to talk about that. A lot of them, a lot of them dudes in Washington, y'all know they crooked. Y'all even say they crooked. I'm here for years. Y'all been saying politicians ain't shit. They've been lying. They're crooked. They're liars. They do people dirty. They steal money. And now you're trying to defend the same people that you say are crooked. And you're saying Donald Trump is going to go after his political enemies.
I don't I don't understand your logic. Like you can't say that these people are honorable people. And then get mad when you say Donald Trump is going to go after them. Wouldn't you want him to go after them if they're crooked? You're saying he's going to make up stuff and lock people up. He could have locked Hillary Clinton up. He didn't do that. He didn't lock anybody up. Actually, he let people out. So it's like, what are we talking about here? I really fear that this is the end. Um, American democracy has always been called the great experiment. Um, and I think half, more than half of this country failed all of us. And that experiment is, is going to be over. And I don't see him leaving power in four years. But hey, hopefully... Bro, you can't be serious. Milk. Donald Trump is Donald Trump is like 78 years old. Like, what are you talking about? He's not going to leave power. So 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 nobody's going to remove him. Like, yo, this is crazy. Let's keep Your it going. Gas though. is a little bit cheaper. Hope it was worth it. Power in four years. But hey, hopefully your eggs and your milk and your gas is a little bit cheaper. Hope it was worth it. And then, and then, and this, and this is the reason why, this is the reason why y'all lost. Right here, that right there is the reason why y'all lost. Those snarky comments like that. Let's keep it going. I have decided that my personal revenge for this 2024 election fiasco is to be a menace to men on dating apps. I'm going to re-download probably, just, I guess, just Tinder and Hinge and match up every single man. Say I'm down for hookups, give them my give them a Google voice number, talk with them, say, yeah, I'll come over. Yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm I'm five minutes out. Oh. Yo, what the fuck? Me the new stick. Now you hear that garbage? This this is the type of stuff that that people in America think when they, they lose, when when something happens that they disagree with. Did you hear this? I'm going to read down all re-download all of the dating apps, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna uh, tell men lies, and I'm gonna play games, and I'm gonna do all this stuff for what? What is all this for? It's like where are the adults at? I don't understand it. Why are we dealing with ki with children? The internet has made all these adult children. Everybody's a children. All y'all have TikTok brain. All y'all have TikTok brain. I don't get it. I don't understand. Every one of y'all have TikTok brain. Y'all all on TikTok. Most of y'all on TikTok and y'all on here looking like children. Y'all put on fake faces. Oh, y'all do all these fake things. Nobody's real anymore. You on TikTok. You're about 50 years old. At least you look about 50. And you're on TikTok talking about how you're going to re-download apps and, and fake out men. Why? Like, what, 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 what the hell is going on here? Because you're upset? It was more women that voted for Trump than men did. I don't, I, I, I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. Probably, just, I guess, just Tinder and Hinge and match up every single man. Say I'm down for hookups. Give them my give them a Google Voice number. Talk with them. Say yeah, I'll come over. Yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm I'm five minutes out. Uh, what do you mean I'm here? Don't you see me? Like what is what is all this for though? Why? What, what like what are you what what are you gonna prove by that? This is the logic that people have, bro. Let's keep it going. I don't want to spend too much time. What? Let's go. I won't be there, and I'm gonna ruin your plans. Anytime you make plans with me. I will lie to you, stand you up, ghost you. I'm just going to be a menace. Because why not? Men don't like women. I'm going to start actively practicing misandry. And that's my personal goal for 2024. Bro, that's crazy. I just need to understand something, ladies. I know y'all in the comments there. Please tell me what's going on. Like, I understand some of y'all get emotional and y'all upset. And maybe some of y'all feel like, Certain things are going to be taken away from y'all. I don't know. But what's really going on? Because this is a little bit, this is a little deeper than what, what we're saying, what we're talking about. Because I don't understand it. It's, it's much deeper than what we're talking about. And I know a lot of y'all are strong on this page. 
I need to understand what's really going on here. Did they do something to to the psyche of women? Did they really do something to y'all psyche? And it kind of it's kind of messing y'all up to the point where y'all off balance. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all off balance. And we will have a real conversation. I want to really talk about this because I think this is very important. Like, listen to this one here. Like, listen to this woman here. This is very disturbing. And it's and it's sad to see this. Listen to this. Knowing that I woke up. Bitch, it's not about a fucking bug. Fuck that shit right now. Knowing that I went to bed. Yeah. That, woo, that fucking man was ahead a little bit. But waking up to this man. Literally. You're... you're you're four points a fucking way. Not only shows me how racist, which, hello, wake up, you black, you're aware of that. It not only shows me how racist this country is, misogynistic, y'all. Yeah, it's all these buzzwords that y'all using, and I just don't understand it. Y'all saying that this country is racist, but y'all still living here. That's number one. Number two, you're saying that everything is misogynistic. Why? Because people didn't like Kamala? Well, it was more y'all that voted for her than it was men. But I don't think that she knows. It's, it, this is not about Trump. This is, this is a sickness that's going around. And I think people need to get this checked out. I think this is a real thing. And I know a lot of y'all probably laughing or looking at me or saying like, oh, or what are you talking about? No, it's it's really serious. No, I really believe that some of these people are really have a sickness. And the combination of social media and the combination of them expressing their emotions to people that they don't even know. Like, if she felt some type of way about this, obviously, she wants to seek people to see her crying about it but she could have easily just not did that and just cried about it but she want the world to know why do you want the world to know why does it have to be a stage for you to present your case over something that you don't really know what's going to really happen you thinking that it's going to happen but y'all seem to forget that the man was already in office and none of this happened they got y'all messed up and I, un I need to understand this, ladies. Do they really have y'all this messed up? Like, are y'all really this messed up? Like, is, 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 it, is it me? I'm not trying to be insensitive. I'm just trying to have a real dialogue about this. Because I know some of y'all listen to this and y'all get turned off by it. I don't care. I just want to understand what's really going on in some of y'all heads. It's like, y'all acting like it's the end of the world. How is it the end of the world? And if your argument is because a, we, a women's reproductive rights is in jeopardy, no, it's not. Trump literally said that he's not going to do a national abortion ban. But for some reason, y'all still are saying this. I don't understand it. He literally came out his mouth and said that. So it's like, why are we, why are we still talking about this? And it's like, I don't understand why y'all so upset about that. Any, I don't want to sound insensitive. I'm just saying. I don't understand why, for the life of me, y'all are so upset about it when most of y'all can just be more responsible. Are y'all, listen, let's be honest here. Are y'all really arguing for sexual liberation? Is that what it really is? Is this what it really is? Is that what really ma bothering y'all? The fact that y'all can't fuck without condoms? Because if that's the case, then I could, if you say that, then I can understand. If you say, you know what? It's because of sexual liberation and we should be able to fuck with our condoms. If you do that, if you say that, I respect it. But if you're getting on here saying, oh, it's women reproductive rights, without, without, without you mentioning the fact that for you to get pregnant, you would literally have to have unprotected sex. So are you advocating for women to have unprotected sex? Is that what we're doing? Because that's what it seems like to me when y'all argue that point. Because that's the only point that y'all have. Outside of that, that's the only 
That's the only thing that women usually say besides the patriarchy and all that other garbage. That's it. But I need to understand what's going on here. I think it's more about sexual liberation. Like, for real. Let's keep it going. <laughs> We're at the point where I'm convinced <laughs> y'all do not want to get here. <laughs> y'all had y'all glory fucking days in the back. Y'all hate to see a black, a Latino, anybody that's in the LGBTQ plus, a woman. This is what I mean. Y'all, this is all about group identity. Y'all, that's all y'all care about. Y'all can't get mad at something that people just don't go along with. Y'all do the same thing. I could say that I could have the same argument towards her. I could say the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody wants to put up with that. It's like, oh, y'all don't care about us. Well, you don't care about everybody else either. That's the same argument. I could say the same thing about you. You don't care about everybody else either. It's like when y'all don't get y'all way, the whole world goes on, it, it, the world burns up. It, it's just, it's just weird to me. It's weird to me how how y'all try to listen. Let me explain something to y'all, man. I want to explain something. I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I, I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. And this is just the truth. Don't lump black people in with the gay community. Don't lump black people in with the trans community. No, do not lump us in with that. That's just the bottom line. Don't lump us in with that. Nah, we different. We was born this way. Don't tell me you was born that way. You could change that. We can't. I can't change this. This skin color, you see that? I can't change that. I was born like that. Do not lump me in with that. No. We're not the same. It might be some of us in that community, but do not. The ideology is not the same. Do not lump us in. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. Don't lump us into that. Don't put us in there saying, oh, no, you, you can't stand the, the, this community's getting ahead. No, that's you and your delusion. That's how you feel. You can't get mad at people because they feel differently. It, it, I, I, I just don't understand it. Being happy doing shit on her fucking own. Because to wake up and seeing it being that close, and I'm seeing comments where people are like, I'm in another country. I don't know how this is happening. Wake up! This is fucking America, and this is sad. And every fucking body, any person that I still follow that has voted for him, I'm not even going to say what my thoughts is, but trust I will be acting on my thoughts. This is, listen to what she just said. Now, y'all tell me, if it was a Republican that said something like that, y'all would be up in arms. Listen to what she just said. And you tell me that you don't think that these people have a mental illness or something's going on with them, something triggered them. I used to work at a psych hospital. I did that for years. I worked there for years, not just working there for one year. I worked there for years. And I talked to the doctors. These people have a it is a massive mental illness problem going on because of feminism when it comes to women and other things not just feminism but this is what i'm talking about you should not be that much invested that you're feeling like you're going to maybe do something or you thinking the devious things in your head to do something to a friend of yours who voted for someone that you had a disagreement with or you don't like. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm just mind blown how we follow these type of people and we don't say, listen, you need to go get some help. Like y'all telling me that y'all don't think that this lady needs some help. And if you don't believe that, then you have normalized mental illness in America. This is literally mental illness right here. You're looking at it in real time. It's not just emotional because she's thinking of stuff in her head. Her being emotional is something different, but she's thinking about acting on it. That's different than you just feeling a type of way. You know who else feels like this? Boyfriends, when their girlfriends break up with them and they feel some type of way, you know what they do? They act on it. Crime of passion, that's all a part of that. 
This is what she's going through. Not a crime of passion, but she's going through something. And nobody wants to call these things out. This is this is crazy. And I know this, I might lose some brand deals for what I'm about to say. <laughs> but every black person that I've ever seen that said I'm for Trump in this current state, every Latino, every non-white male, let's keep it what it is. I pray to God. I know deep down that's why I'm crying. The repercussions with Trump, if he gets elected, is going to be crazy for all minorities and anybody that's not matching or ever seen the dollar amount that he's ever seen in his life. But I pray to God for anyone that voted in his, in his this election, that's a minority that doesn't even have the same uh, mindset as Trump, whatever the fuck that might mean. I pray to God these repercussions hit y'all not only first, but harder. Because you see, that's my point right there. That's my point. These people ain't good. And, and, and I have to excuse her because I believe that she is suffering from some type of, uh, some type of breakdown right now. This is, a, this is a breakdown. She's having a break, a nervous breakdown. But this is what we're, this is what we're dealing with. And I know some of y'all are going to feel some type of way, but look. Let's be honest here. This is what we're dealing with. This is what we're dealing with. Like, y'all don't think that this, y'all think that this is okay for her to literally say that? It can't be. There's no way in the world that y'all can sit up here. And I know I love y'all in the comments, man. I know y'all gonna be trying to cut my throat. But look, there's no way in the world y'all can sit up here and tell me that what she just said was right. She literally just said she hoped that the repercussions come off the people and it hits them hard. And it's like, are we, are we trying to make, are we trying to move forward or are you trying to wish something on somebody? Because this is every, every one of these, these, these uh, videos I see, it's always people like her. The last lady did the same thing. Y'all are wishing death and hurt on people. How can you say you're a good person when you're wishing stuff to happen to somebody? You're, wish, you're saying that Donald Trump is bad. You're saying that these people are bad and he's going to do all these things. And you're wishing something happened to somebody. How are you just, you're no better than the person that you said is bad. You're wishing it happened to them. This is crazy. I wish I could talk to her and be like, yo, you're bugging. You're bugging. Like you're wishing this stuff happened to somebody. Are you kidding me? As now, because then you will finally see what the fuck that half America has been talking about this whole election. He's never had y'all in y'all's best interest. And you will see, you will see that if he gets elected these next four years, every black, every minority, again, everyone that is not looking like him. I mean, at this point, if you're not old like him, period. Um, I would go as far to say. That's crazy. Look, let me explain something to y'all, right? This, this, we talking today. Let me explain something to y'all, right? You got to be careful with people like that. Because those type of people, they talk about other people, and they're the enemy. They're the ones that's the bad person in this whole equation. Because look at the stuff she's saying. It's like, oh, well, I'm wishing, well, I hope that you made this decision. Okay. Yeah, watch what happened to you, and I can't wait until it happened. That's the type of that's the type of language she's speaking. That's what she's doing when she says stuff like that. And to me, it's crazy that you would say something like that, but then turn around and say that this person is the bad person. Well, you're the one that's wishing hurt on people. I, I, I'm 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 just mind blown by this whole thing. I'm really mind blown by it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just blown by it. And it just it to me it's it's one of those things and it's just real real weird. And and to be honest with you, I'm gonna tell y'all what it's really about. And I'm and listen, this is what it's really about. And a lot of y'all probably don't want to speak on this, but I'm gonna speak on it. This it, it's it's a combination of things, but one of the topics that this really is about, that this really is about, is is the trans community and certain things that's going on where they saying that they're taking away women's rights and they're trying to say that trans women are real women. 
This is what this is. Let's be clear here. That's what it, that's what it most of it is about. So when they come out and say stuff like that, they're fighting for their rights to for for trans women to be considered real women. And it's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? That's not going to happen. So when they say, "Oh, things are going to happen," they're speaking on that part. I've seen a, a video of Trump saying he's going to stop the transitioning of children and he's going to put that to rest and everything's going to he's going to stop all that. And that's that. And you know what one of the ladies said in the video that I seen? She said, this is what I mean by dictatorship. He should not be able to stop kids from transitioning. This is what I mean. This is what y'all. This is what y'all fighting for. Y'all fighting for children to transition. I, I'm 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 mind blown by this. I under, I need to understand this, ladies, in the comments. Is that a thing? Do y'all? Any of y'all in the comments here? Are y'all okay? Or are y'all? And I'm not gonna block y'all, delete y'all. I just want to understand. Are you okay? with children transitioning not adults we're talking about children and don't hit don't jump in the comments saying well that never happened no, 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 no. they're fighting for that right now so are you okay and i've seen plenty of videos and plenty of people saying that their child is a boy when they were born as a girl i've seen a lot of parents doing this i seen it myself don't try to jump in there and say, well, no, that's not true. I seen it. Trust me. So I seen it on plenty of videos. Over a hundred. So I need to understand, is this something that y'all okay with? Are y'all okay with children transitioning, not adults? Are y'all okay with, with uh, pu uh, puberty blocking pills and all types of uh, chemical castration? Are y'all okay with that? That's what I need to understand. Forget Trump. Are you okay with that? Because that that right there, to me, that's a level of that I don't understand how anybody could support. But I just want to understand, if you do support it, what's your reasoning for it? Why? Why? Or do you just not care and say that it's up to the parents? You know what I'm saying? Because if that's the case, then parents, then Dyfus shouldn't be stopping you from beating your kids in public. Because if you sit here and tell me that you okay with children transitioning, and I say I'm not, but then you have a problem with parents beating their kids in public for being bad, you should mind your business, right? Because a lot of y'all will run and tell. Oh, yeah, I'm telling. You okay with them? You, you want to tell and get the kids taken away from them when they're when they, uh, uh, getting beat. But you're not okay with them get, taking pills that's going to block them from growing as children? What? Oh, my child is my child is four years old. He feels as though that he's a girl. That's how he feels. He feels like he's a girl. He's four. It's like I, I need to understand this. This is gonna be a long one. Let's say go. that I would purchase a Glock, and if you and I are walking on the same street and it's dark out, and you're a white male. You have to be white for this to count, okay? If you're a white male, even if you don't approach me, I will shoot you. Yeah. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> this is literally on TikTok. Yo, this chick said if she had a gun and if there were a white man walking on the same street as her, she would shoot him. Y'all think that this is okay? I cannot believe this, yo. <laughs> This is, uh, maybe I'm crazy. I'm from another planet or something. I don't understand it. Y'all talking about this guy as being this dictator and he's a savage and he's this and that. But they got people on TikTok who are literally saying if they were walking on the street with somebody, they will kill them right there. You got people who are saying that they're thinking of devious things in the head to do to their friends because they voted for Trump. I cannot believe this. This is crazy. Y'all okay with this? Y'all okay with this? Like I, I'm just I'm I'm just so mind blown by this. I just don't get it. I don't understand the logic behind y'all. Some of y'all arguments. It's like, what are y'all arguing for? And why y'all not standing against people like this? This is crazy. This is on TikTok.
She has a TikTok channel where she literally says she will kill somebody. And we're okay with it. This is social media that can spread all over the world. Like, what? So, um, has to be on the street, you and I. Uh, has to be at nighttime. During the day, not so much. But at nighttime, okay? And you have to have very white skin um, and be a male. Um. So, now that the orange turd has won, we should now rename America Hell because it is... It's like, a lot of these people... They're so, they're, they're so, it's like, they're so, uh, they have all of these, all of this animosity towards America, but these are the same people that can get their passport and literally leave America, but they won't because this is how, you know, they're fake, right? They put all this on TikTok. They see all these things on TikTok and they always saying, oh, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe we're going to go to hell. Okay. So if you feel like you're going to go to hell and, and America is that bad, and America's the worst thing ever, then won't you book a flight and move somewhere for four years or whenever and then come back later? Or just say, you know what? I'm leaving and I'm never coming back. I see a lot of celebrities, right? They were saying if Donald Trump wins, they're moving out of the country. I'm leaving the country. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Now they're not leaving now. Now they're not leaving. Now they're making deals. Yo, they, yo, this is crazy, right? This is how you know the mainstream media has, has fucked y'all up, right? Now you see all the news networks are changing their tune. Now they're going against Kamala now. Now they're going against Joe Biden now. Now they're saying, oh, it's their fault. They need to, they need to get a better strategy. Trump ran a perfect campaign. I've seen people saying that on MSNBC, saying that Trump ran a perfect campaign. These are the same people that was calling this man Hitler and calling him all types of names. Now they're seemingly, seemingly siding with the man and going against the Democrats now. This is how you know that they messed y'all up because y'all just believe whatever they tell y'all. Look, this guy is saying that America is going to be called hell and he's on TikTok, on his phone, in his car when he could just say, you know what? I don't want to deal with this. Let me see if I can save up some money and I'm out of here. I'll come back another time. I work online. I work in another country for offline. That you could do that. It's going to be hell on earth once they strip everyone's rights away that is no straight white cis man. So buckle up. Hope you freaking Republicans are happy. I'm out of here. See what I mean? All of this, all of this, all of this right here. Oh, yeah, sisters. And I'm going to put it to you like this. If I see you with a white man, it's up. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to hear that spicy white shit no more. This shit is not a joke no more. I don't care what the Shira Savage said. Oh, my God. You know what? Get with a man in your race. Get with an old white man. Bitch, I wish you would. Go ahead and do it. Do it. I'm done with the bullshit. I'm done. If you... All of these angry, upset people who are mad for no reason, they're mad because they didn't get their way. That just reinforces the reason why people are saying that females can't be in leading position roles. And I know a lot of y'all going to be like, that's crazy for you to say. It's the truth. Look at how y'all acting. Look at this. Y'all acting like y'all can't take an L. He took an L. That's it. That's it. I, I'm 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 mind blown how y'all just it's it's just so it's so disturbing to me when she just literally said that if she see a black girl with a white man she's fighting the black girl. That's what she just said. The other dude put his middle finger up and said basically saying go to hell everybody. It's like wait a minute. Didn't half the country vote for this man, and some people voted for him that. Y'all thought that would never vote for him? Maybe his message was resonating to them. You can't just respect that. They got y'all that messed up. Like, and I also believe that a lot of y'all women thought y'all was entitled to this victory. And I'm gonna talk about that at the end because that's the, that's the most important part. Voted for Trump. I think you're a loser. I think you're stupid. I think you're a moron. I think you're evil. I think that you deserve. 
I'm better than you. You're a horrible person. You don't deserve air. If you're a teacher in America right now, can you please stay for just a second? I have a question. Are you scared right now? After the past 24 hours? Bro, you don't need to go on TikTok for this, bro. Sis, you don't need to go on TikTok for that. You you don't you don't need to do all that. You you trying to you trying to uh, uh 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 get community sympathy. That's what this is all for. That's what this is all for. This is all community sympathy. Oh, if you're a teacher, this is all community sympathy. Like I'm not trying to hear that. Just keep it going. In our country, are you scared? Because I am terrified. I am terrified that I'm gonna have to lose my dream job and go do something else that I don't want to do. But I'm scared because I do not want to be a part of a failing public education system. I don't want to fail kids. It's crazy. Any more than they've already been failed. And I just need other teachers who are in my position right now to tell me how they're feeling because I don't know. And I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm scared. And some of you guys might think that that's stupid to be scared, but I am terrified. I'm going to be honest, I was very... You're, you're, you're scared and you're terrified. And I, and I, and I sympathize with you on, on that because maybe you are really scared. Maybe you are terrified. But you have to... I, I, I don't say what you have to do. I'm just going to say, I think a lot of y'all have been fed a lot of these bad things. And, and I'll be honest with y'all, and this, this is the honest truth, you know what I mean? I respect a lot of my friends. So it's particularly two friends I have that I respect a lot. You know what I'm saying? And one of my friends, he don't particularly like Trump. He don't. He don't like Trump. But he's a realist. And he, and he is into reality, I would say. Let me get my hair all sticking up. Shit. It's crazy. Let me get my hair right. Yeah, there you go. I would say he's a realist. You know what I'm saying? He don't particularly like Trump, but... Me and, him, me and him can have a conversation. Actually, both of my friends don't like Trump. And we can both have a conversation about it. But he said something to me today, and he explained why he believed that Trump won. And I was kind of shocked because me and him don't really talk about Trump like that. Because last time we talked about Trump, we had a little argument about it. But he kind of like, I ain't going to say changed his tune because I don't think he still like Trump. But the fact is, he is a little bit, he's a little bit open-minded more. And I think that a lot of y'all, y'all listen to the media, but y'all don't actually listen to the candidates. It's, that wasn't like I didn't like Kamala. I knew her history and I knew a thing she did. I watched everything she did. The Shannon Sharp interview, I watched the, 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 the Fox interview with Brett Bear. I watched all that. Trust me, I know. I watched it all. You know what I'm saying? That's all I do is get information from everything. And I I said that she could have beat Trump. I just think that she just had a bad, she didn't run soon enough, and she had a bad uh, candidacy, uh, candid, um, her messaging was bad. I think she thought she was going to grab women off of what she said, but that don't resonate with all women. A lot of women, are want, they want families and they want to get married, but you're promoting something different. I think if she wouldn't promote it that, and said, listen, I'm going to protect women, but I'm also going to protect men. And I'm going to tell you what, how I'm going to do it. This is what we're going to do. And I'm going to do this. And I'm not worried about calling Trump a fascist and a dictator. No, let's forget all that. Forget that. You know what I'm saying? And she would have been, if she would have said, listen, I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to scare none of y'all. But I think that her messaging and the people that she surrounds herself with, their messaging kind of lined up with y'all's but then it really doesn't because a couple of y'all don't even believe in a lot of the stuff that y'all crying about but y'all crying about it because y'all thinking it's going to be taken away from you it's like oh i don't have a choice well you do have a choice so i think that i think that people have to have an open mind to some of these things and a lot of y'all don't listen to trump y'all don't a lot of y'all don't listen to Trump. A lot of y'all don't know what he said. A lot of y'all don't even know where he went. Y'all don't know if he talked to this black coalition. Y'all didn't even know he talked to the black coalition uh, or the black journalist coalition or whatever it's called. Y'all didn't know he did that. 
and, and Kamala was supposed to show up and she didn't. And he was the only one there with three black women and he talked to all three of them. Y'all didn't know that. Y'all didn't know that he went to the libertarians and talked to them. They don't really like Trump like that, but he did. Y'all didn't know he went to he went to the uh, the Muslim of uh, the Islamic community and talked to them. Y'all didn't know that he went to the, uh, the went to the uh, 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 Israeli community or uh, uh, Israel. I don't know what they would call them Israeli community. I guess that's what that's called. He talked to them. He talked to the black community. He went to barbershops. He he went to McDonald's. He did all these things. She didn't go. She only talked to one person from the other side, and that was Brett Bear. That's it. She didn't talk to nobody else. So when you're saying, oh, well, Donald Trump's this and that, it's because you've been brainwashed to believe that. You haven't even listened to what the man has to say. That's all I'm saying. I'm not advocating for y'all to like Donald Trump. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying, if you're going to demonize somebody, at least have something. You can't just say, oh, well, they take a sound. Listen, they've been tricking y'all for years, ladies. They take a sound bite, they cut it up, and they put it in your face. And you start to regurgitate that because you already don't like the man. So since you don't like him, you can't rationalize anything because now only thing you're thinking is, oh, he's going to do this. You're not even thinking about, let me go read what he wrote on Twitter. But they'll promote whatever he wrote. You ask yourself, ask yourself, do you look at things that he said that are good? Or do you just look at things that he said are bad? If these people are are not trustworthy, you're talking about the mainstream media who promotes propaganda all the time. They constantly They constantly promote propaganda all the time. And y'all believe them on both sides. I'm talking like Fox News do it too. MSNBC does it. NBC, CBS. All of them, they promote propaganda. The newspapers promote propaganda. They all do it because of sensationalism. It makes money. Look at the, like, i put it to you like this. I'm going to play the rest of this video. I'm going to end it. And I got a lot to say. This is going to be a long video. And I know y'all probably going to be here for it. It is what it is. Let's go. I'm excited about the results this morning. Um, I've decided that cigarettes don't count today. And I honestly might go get a tattoo. But I also have decided that for the next four years, I am going to abstain from schmecks with men. And funny enough, I actually just broke up with my boyfriend a handful of days before the election, and it had nothing to do with the anticipation of Donald Trump winning. But what does this have to do with anything? You're not gonna, you're not gonna have sex with men? Why do we care? That's okay, you don't have to. That's your right, right? I, I, I'm, I'm just, I don't know, but let's keep it going. This election, it had everything to do with, with problems within our relationship and massive differences between who we were as people, um, which was unfortunate and sad. I wish him well though. Um, but yeah, as a woman, my bodily autonomy matters. And this is my way to exercise sovereignty over that. So I highly encourage any other women that are single, um, and 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 care about um progressing women's rights and still fighting for our bodily autonomy um to do this how how is it nobody's taking your bodily autonomy you you literally just said that you're not gonna have sex with nobody so you are you're totally exempt right there that you don't have to worry about none of that that's basically what you said but listen i'm gonna I'm end it right there I'm going to end it right there, and and I got a lot to say. This is going to be a long video, and I don't care. <sighs> All right, look, man. This is this is it, man. This is the thing, man. Right? And I love talking about stuff like this because I just like talking about things like this because I think that these conversations should be had. And a lot of y'all, y'all scared to have the conversation. Nobody wants to talk about it. Everybody wants to tiptoe around shit. Nobody want to talk about shit. But, nah, we going to talk. I'm telling y'all, Kamala Harris could have beat Trump. And the only reason why he did, she didn't is because her messaging was bad. She didn't have good messaging. That's the reason why. You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of, uh, of y'all know that. A lot of y'all know it, but y'all don't want to admit it. Also, too, I think that y'all I think y'all think y'all was entitled to y'all think y'all was entitled to the presidency. I think y'all thought that since she was a woman, 
And since she was a woman of color, she's entitled to it. And that comes from y'all living in America. That whole mentality comes from y'all living in America. Even though you hate America so much, the mentality of you believe that something is supposed to be given to you because you believe you deserve it because you are from or of ethnicity or of some type of uh, gender. That's what that's what that comes from. So it cracks me up that y'all sit here and say America is so bad, so this and that. But you felt as though y'all was entitled for her to be the president. That's why y'all so upset. A lot of y'all was misled. A lot of y'all was people was telling y'all stuff that wasn't true. They wasn't being honest with y'all. A lot of these politicians and a lot of these news media outlets, they were lying to y'all. They were just telling y'all stuff just to get y'all riled up. And let's be honest here. And this is the full on truth. A lot of the pollsters, a lot of those polls were fake. You have to say they were fake because a good portion of them that were saying that she was in the lead, they had it wrong. And you ask yourself, how did they get it wrong? How did they get it wrong? How? It had to be, it had to be that they was either doing it on purpose. Or they just got it wrong. And usually they do stuff like that to get you to vote or to get you to feel some type of way or to get your money. Because those pollsters make a lot of money. They make a lot of money. Everything comes back to money. That's what it's all about. And I know y'all, a lot of y'all don't want to hear this. And a lot of y'all think that this is about women's rights. It's not. It's about money. That's all they care about. That's it. Has nothing to do with women's rights. It has nothing to do with your color, your gender, none of that. It's about how can we make more money? What can we do to make money? That's what this is about. And a lot of y'all, y'all fall into this trap of believing that these politicians have y'all best interests in mind. Ask yourself this, right? Ask yourself this. And I ain't going to try to be Trump's lawyer, but I'm just going to be honest with y'all. This is what we're here for. We're going to talk, right? Ask yourself this. Donald Trump been in office. He's been in office. This would be his fifth year. Some of them politicians, they've been in office for over 50 years. 50. This man had been in office for, uh, uh, let's say this would be four. This would be five coming up, right? So he'd been in office for four years. This was four years ago. How is it that this man who's been in office for four years, came in and outsmarted them and took everything from them. And y'all saying that he's dumb, he's stupid, he don't know nothing, he's this and that. How did he maneuver through, the, through, the, through all of these things to get to where he's at? Oh, y'all don't believe in democracy? Y'all don't believe in uh, the fair and free election? Y'all thought that everything he was saying was wrong, right? This is what y'all saying, like, oh, well, democracy's on the ballot. All this good stuff that y'all was speaking of. What happened to that? Now that democracy's working, everybody's against it now. This is how you know that you're caught up in this, in this, this surreal world because y'all believe that these people have your best interests at heart. They don't. They use you as pawns to get to where they need to get to the money. That's it. <laughs> you telling me that they didn't know Kamala Harris was going to lose? They installed this woman as as uh <clears throat> as as the president or as the vice president to install her to try to try to be the president. She didn't get not one vote. Y'all okay with that? Y'all always saying how democracy needs to work, but none of y'all voted for her to become where she was at. Y'all just did, and that's the thing. That's the thing. They knew y'all would go along with it. How can y'all say? How can y'all say that y'all okay with? Y'all, y'all hate the government and the government this and that, and they literally did that in front of your face and made you go along with something. But you're talking about Donald Trump being a dictator. They made you do something that you didn't want to do. Nobody wanted to vote for Kamala Harris. They could have picked another woman that was probably a better a candidate than her. They didn't. You didn't. Every one of y'all on the in these comments, none of y'all voted for her to be the, the um to be the president. How did she get there? Did you ask yourself that? But y'all talking about Trump taking away democracy. They literally took your vote from Biden and applied it to her. And say, you know what? 
And then, and then on top of that, they did the same thing with uh with Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. They did the same thing when he was the favorite, and everybody was saying they wanted him, and they um took him out and put her in there. They did the same thing. So I'm saying to y'all, it's like it's like it's like y'all believe in this propaganda, and y'all just fall for what the news media tells y'all. And I'm like, I don't understand why y'all do that. And when you're in the politics, you got to understand there's always two sides. There's three sides. Well, I would say four, right? There's the Republican side, the Democratic side, a lie, and the truth. That's what it is. It's four sides. You have to know all the sides because it's very tricky. They hit you with a lot of smoke and mirrors. They make up stuff. To keep you engaged. That's it. Because politics is boring. Nobody really cares. Now it's what they call political theory. They want you to be a part of it. It has to be exciting. Because nobody's going to be excited about politics. There's a lot of laws that nobody knows about. Nobody knows about the debt ceiling and gerrymandering. Nobody knows about that. You know what I'm saying? Filibuster. Nobody knows about these things. Nobody wants to even learn about it. Most people just want to know what my check looking like and are you going to stop this bill and this that. But most of y'all don't even know that there's bills that been passed while y'all watching the football game. There was bills being passed. Y'all didn't vote for y'all local y'all local officials and what happens? Certain things been passed. I didn't even know that was a law. It was one time, right? I was driving and I didn't have my windshield wipers on when it was raining, right? Matter of fact, no, I'm sorry. I had my windshield wipers on when it was raining, but I didn't have my headlights on. And the lady tried to give me a ticket. Luckily, I had daylights on my car, but she tried to give me a ticket. And I'm like, I didn't even know that was a law. I didn't know that you had to have your headlights on when it's raining. I didn't know that. I thought, I, I'm be honest with y'all, I didn't know that. But she tried to give me a ticket. But that's my point. A lot of these laws are being passed and none of y'all even care. Y'all care about one issue and that's it. It could be a thousand things going on, but y'all don't care about that. Y'all care about one issue. Every one of these women, every one of those women on there only care about one issue. That's it. There's a hundred million other things that we need to worry about. You talking about, oh, it won't be no, I won't have no rights. But if there's a war, you won't have nothing. Nothing at all. So I, I just, I just encourage y'all to stop just listening to one side. Just open your mind. You don't have to be a Republican. You don't have to like Donald Trump, but at least have the full story. So it is. And a lot of y'all, y'all live, y'all live your life off of. Uh, y'all live your life off of how, how y'all live your life when it comes to religion. They say you're supposed to separate church and state, right? But most of y'all live your life the same way with it. So what y'all do is whatever y'all believe in, if y'all believe in, in, in God, Islam, whatever, you can't question that. There's no there's nothing you can tell me. It's it's the truth. You can't tell me anything. It's the truth. I don't care. How much. You don't look into it. Oh, why would I? Why would I read? Why would I read about this when I know that that's not like I know that God exists or I know that that Jesus is this. I know that. Why would I read something that says otherwise? You know what I'm saying? That's just how this is how y'all go into it with politics. Y'all listen to one side. I'm not listening to that side because that side is a liar. And you'd be like, wait a minute. Why do people like that side? Why, wh why are they telling you not to listen to them? You've asked yourself, why do they say to you, no, I don't listen to them. Why? I need to understand because these people are fighting for your vote. So if they're fighting for your vote, then you need to understand what are they fighting for? Why? Wh who's blocking what? Who's doing what? And I love the fact that I don't particularly agree with, with Democrats, but I love the fact that we have two different parties in this country because you give a, you get difference of an opinion. If people believe something on this side, you can ask them why, and they believe something on this side, you ask them why. This is not a dictatorship. It can never be. Well, actually, it's a, 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 it's a, we live in a republic. We don't live in a democracy. I don't know why people says that, but either way, I'm just saying, like, it, it's, it basically is it's like, we just can't, like, people can't just listen to both sides. It's like, y'all get so upset 
to hear the other side. I don't understand it. Don't you want to learn? Don't you want to learn why somebody's the way they are? You don't want to learn that? You just want to automatically hate the person. You don't care. And it's on the other side, too. Republicans, we, I believe, and I'm not a Republican, but I believe that Republicans and people who are independents, we've been listening to y'all forever. We've been listening to about uh, women's rights, trans rights, uh, 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 all types of the gay community rights. We've been listening to y'all and everybody's been taking everything y'all in to consideration we've been listening to y'all telling us that men are women and women can be men we've been listening to y'all but every time when it comes to y'all listening to the other side y'all can't do it we've been hearing y'all we've been listening to y'all all day every day we've been listening to y'all y'all been they've been promoting it everywhere we just don't agree but we listen to y'all and even some of us even have conversations with y'all about it i've seen um people actually uh, uh, have people on their show that are trans people and they don't have a problem with them not at all but for some reason y'all don't want to listen to the other side it's like oh yeah they're so extreme over there really are they really extreme over there are they so extreme you the one saying that you would shoot a white man on the street if you seen him walking up the street at nighttime if, I, I, I ain't never see a conservative say something like that never you know what i'm saying and I already know, don't jump in the comments. So, so, well, Trump said he could shoot somebody in Times Square and, and nobody, no, we already know that that was a joke. This lady was serious. And he was saying that to make a point. He was saying, listen, man, I, like he, and this is when he was on his, 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 his shit. And I, you know what I mean, it is what it is. But y'all know what I mean. And it's like, come on, man. Let's be clear here. Everybody wants to, uh, wants to be one-sided. Nobody wants to actually learn from each side. I have no problem talking to. I got I got gay family members. I know people who are trans. I don't agree with certain things, but I don't have no problem talking to them. I understand. And I actually and I want to know why you are the way you are. Or how you feel, why you feel like that. But y'all don't even want to hear the other side. That's the problem. And that's why y'all so messed up in the head. Because y'all think that there's this mysterious person that's out to get y'all. And y'all gonna be running all your life like that. That's why I don't support victimization. Us as black men, I don't support that. I think black men should uplift themselves and get up out of the situation again. If you don't like something, nigga, get out of it, nigga. Get out of it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like something, get out of it. That's how it goes. A lot of y'all sit here and you act like, like y'all can't do nothing. It's like, oh, I'm so restrained. I can't do anything. Yeah, you can. You just don't want to. You're too lazy to do it. You got to do it. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm saying, man. And I know this was a long episode. Hey, man, I had a lot to say. And I know that a lot of y'all might, might get bothered by it. But this is the type of conversations we got to have. We got to have these conversations. And it's going to come up once in a while. I'm not going to always do episodes like this. Not all the time. But, you know, once in a while, I will. You know, and I got, I got some things to say. And I'm just going to speak my mind. That's how it goes. And I want y'all to speak your mind in the comments. If y'all disagree with me, y'all agree with me, you know what I mean? Let me know. All right, man. I'm out of here. Love y'all. See y'all.